But to the locals, they're all known as the Aegean Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? Are you kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Aegean Show? <laughs> the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Aging Three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Aging Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a Cold War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Aging Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. I don't know how long I can just hang around in Eugene show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 What the hell was that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration! What's that? Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Uh, did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey! Uh, Calm uh, down. Hey, hey, look! I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day! You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you Kichi Chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. <sighs> the back of it is blank. But I think it's just stupid play money! Wait, hold on. Hmm. That's definitely not play money. If 
front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? Oh, dumbass. That means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Huh? What? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spent it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait, wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it, too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse <laughs> to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing, throw it away, and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Eh, uh, Nanbasan. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy. I won't start any more trouble. We good? Take it anyway. Fuck you, man. I shouldn't stay here. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's gotta be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just gotta be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone. Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys, why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no. But you're all perfectly healthy. I've seen some of you build shit. I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why are you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it! Come on! You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs! Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you- Shut the fuck up! Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah, you said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on, you still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? Uh, 
And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to Hello Work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living, man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? It doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to Hello Work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah, sorry little dragonfish.
think there'd be so many people. Young ones, too. How old are you? 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. Oh, passion, sure. I'm telling you, are ready to work. You know what, these other losers? <sighs> Matsuo-san, I can smell the liquor on you. To be considered for a placement being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. Next, please. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center then. What's that? It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. But wait, I don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. Please, ma'am! I'll work really hard! I'm sorry, but that's our policy, sir. Next, please! Wait, hold on a minute. I need to- hey, Out of the way! So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Ah, uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive. Fishing. Don't get salty yet. We can figure this out. Hey, either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. <laughs> a filthy one. But hey, thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Want to check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? Don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. Oh, 
ちょっと来たぜバトルゾーンイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッイエッ
The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive is how we're talking. <laughs> you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody. Yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ijin gangs are willing to go there now. Place is a graveyard. Okay, well, do you know anyone in the Kumi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. They gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you, Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Ijin 3, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. We just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. You want another idea? I got one. Cut your power grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut, I mean. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? You got a screw loose, lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. How oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. You can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just... don't? You think their message might be an empty threat? The thing is, if it's not, we won't know they're attacking until the last moment. Because we don't know what they look like. Plus, no way is it an empty threat. Look, lady. I get how your bar must be very important to you, and you don't want to close it. But this is insane. Oh, now this isn't even my bar. I'm just the barfly who buzzes around here the most. I wanted guards because I'm worried about Mama here. What? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Kasuga, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. <sighs> you be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <laughs> the job still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah. I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? You're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine, I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? 
Good. So it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? Setup is creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. Why do they need so much electricity anyway? I have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. You trying to get wasted? Dude, we're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably, he said. Well, I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komijul are, hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar, not for one power cable. So you think the note was an empty threat? I think they assumed we'd obey. They know people are terrified of them. They know that for damn sure. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. The Komichul must have believed that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what'll happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe they'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn, she has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear, I saw... Whoa! <laughs> You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Stop! Did the Komijul send you? <laughs> Hey! Hey, wait! Leave me the fuck alone! Why'd you attack us? I was hired to! Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar! Were they Korean Mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know! I'd never seen them before. They just came up to me in the park. I, I was drinking and minding my own business, but hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money. Let's do it. Yeah. What's your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. Matsuo, right? <laughs> What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trashing a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? 
Yeah? Makes you say that? They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, ask the bitch. Bitch? <laughs> Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him! Stop! They'll kill you if you go on their turf! Did you see that? He was smiling. Yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Komiju. No way. He was a member. Oh well, shit. This is going from bad to worse. They're still stuck on the bitch thing. You think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Anyone could be a bitch these days. Hey, look. <gasps> Run! Sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Okay, it's all or nothing. Hey, call me Jewel. Hey, what are you doing? It doesn't matter to me one bit if that guy was one of your own. We're just a clueless bum! But you have him back now! Then why not let us go? And you won't have our bodies to dispose of! What you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass! Would you stop? By the way, you know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck! If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway! So you need to give it up! You're the one who needs to give up! Look, you guys are real-ass Mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small-time shit like stealing electricity! So cut it out! Fine. I don't care anymore. We're dead. Are you satisfied? What? No way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. Hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? Hold on. Huh. 
What's up? Listen up. up. I don't think so. Okay. Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 